Hello, beautiful ones. This is Miss Arkeetha, Soul to Soul Connection, coming to you with Gemini, January 2019 reading. Hello, we made it. Yes, we did. We can breathe now. Burning my Palo Santo. Oh, it smells so good. It just opens up all the senses. Oh, it relaxes you so much. You better get you some. Palo Santo. All right. We're bringing in all the positive energies of the universe. This is a general reading. Everything may not resonate with you. But take what you hear that do, that does, and just run with it. Run with it because you're angels. The universe is trying to talk to you. Trying to give you messages that they've probably been trying to give to you for a very long time. You just... A lot going on in that brain, right, Gemini? All right. And if you would like a personal reading, all information will be below in the description box. I have $15, 15-minute readings, $25, 30-minute readings. Again, all the information will be below if you would like a personal reading. And please don't never forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share all of this love, my beautiful ones. <laughs> love you, Gemini. All right. So, I'm going to get started with my soul journey cards and just to see what energy we're getting for Gemini. Gemini, what have you been up to? What's January all about for Gemini? What have they been working on? What are they letting go? Because they're not bringing this into 2019. We letting that go. Leave it in 2018. What will January 2019 hold for... Okay, that's too many, Gemini. What will 2019 hold for... For our Gemini, we're looking at January. January, we can breathe again. January, oh, the holidays are over. January, kind of. Shoot, Valentine's Day will be here before you know it. Mm. It's always something, right? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. Gemini, what are we doing? One and two, January, 2019, January, 2019. Angels, ancestors, what do you want to let our Gemini know? Gemini, Gemini, Ooh. come on Gemini, why you do me like that? Mm. <laughs> no, I can't do that. That's too many cards. Nah, the angel's trying to get that message through. Ancestor spirit guides. Ancestor spirit guides. Mm. Mm, okay. Gemini, January 20. Gemini. Gemini. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Gemini. 
Gemini, the first thing I'm getting is, well, death card is re coming out to me. <sighs> Gemini, you've had some grief in 2018. You've had some grief in 2018. You've had a lot of endings of a lot of relationships. Coming and goings of people in your life. But, what you have to know is that even though it's been pretty heavy for you, Gemini. Is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. It may not be for all Geminis. Okay? But what I'm getting is that you're letting go. You're letting go of all the hurt and pain that's been associated with what you perceive as failures. You had a lot of like looking, looking, looking at the outside world and wondering why, 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 why is everything working out the way it's working out? Like I don't understand. It's a lot of regret that's going on. A lot of regret. A lot of regret thinking if I would have done it this way or if I would have done it that way. It would be different. Whatever the situation is for you. But right now you're in the death of that. I know I started kind of heavy. But right now you're in the death of that. I mean you're still in it. You're in the thick of it. Is what I'm getting. You're going into January. And look, the cards all just blend together. You're going into January with a heavy heart. There's been some loss. There has been some loss of love, loss of family members in particular. Gemini just know that. When it feels like everything is coming down on you so hard that it's hard for you to accept things at times, you have some beautiful, and I'm going to get to that, by the end of January, I'm about to start crying. <laughs> by the end of January, you're going to see that all of this that you've been going through, letting go uh, bringing the peace back into your life. Understanding that everything happens for a reason. And you're surrounding yourself too now. You're trying, you're, you're, surra you're going to be surrounding yourself with a lot of protective energy. There's going to be a lot of protective energy around you. Because you're going to start accepting. Accepting that all things happen for a reason. It's so hard. It's so hard. And it hurts so bad. And you're going to go back and forth with this, back and forth with this. And you have been going back and forth, back and forth with this. But just know that if you drop your shields, let go of whatever is just dragging you and making you think that you don't have it together, your pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. All these hurts is going to bring the acceptance back and the freedom that you're looking for because some information will be coming to you this month that's going to make you understand why all of these losses and all of these deaths that went on. For some of you, it may be just from, I'm going to say it this way because it's the way it's coming. So from someone you thought didn't give a flying flip about you. But, 
it's not going to be that way. Or you're going to get information about a position within a company that you thought, okay, Gemini, you thought was gone. I don't even remember applying for this. What is going on right now? now they just called me for an interview or they just called me for a second interview and I even forgot that even that happened so far. That's what I'm getting for some of you. For someone. Okay. And so what's going to happen is you're going to start asking for help. You're going to start asking for help to help you get through all of this heaviness that you've been feeling this grief and heaviness you're going to ask for help you're going to ask for help from others and instead of trying to do it all yourself and feeling like you have to oh, wow i feel like i want to cry though it's just like an overwhelming feeling of running finally running through the finish line you're like oh man i made it oh my god it's finally over and but you're happy about it but it's like a relief too that you've made it this far listen but listen by the end of January though your prosperity is coming you're gonna go outside yourself you're gonna go go outside yourself and inside and you're gonna go outside and understand that you have support systems available to you you are free and you're not Gemini, you are not in this self-imposed prison that you think you're in. Your inner goddess is going to come out and you're going to say, okay, this is what I've been waiting on. This is the brightness that I've been waiting on in my, the brightness I've been waiting to shine. In January, you will get this. By the end of January, you're going to have solace when it comes to all of this, all of the, these challenges you've been having. All of these challenges you've been having, you're going to have a way of accepting these challenges. You're going to have a way of understanding why these challenges happen to you. And you're going to be bold in it. And then you're going to start taking your risks. Because you're going to be surrounding yourself. You're going to be in that light. Be in that light. You're going to be in that light. You're going to be in the light that you've been waiting on. You're going to feel the light shining through Oh, you should be waiting on it. And that's just what it is. Because you're releasing. And anytime you release, that's when all the positive energies come back for you. And, and again, just know that. And, and when I say information, it could be information. You can go to sleep, have a dream, and one of your ancestors come through. One of your loved ones that passed away. And I'm getting recently, too. Well, of course, that's, it's, um, I'm generalizing out, so it's, uh, it could have happened to a lot of us Geminis right now. But <sighs> what I'm getting is you're going to be able to accept it. I got the acceptance card, didn't I? Sure did. Yeah. You're going to be able to accept it for what it is. Whatever death that was for you, relationship, family member, loved one, friend, whatever uh, career that you thought you were supposed to have, an, uh, a journey, a path, whatever this was for you, Gemini, just remember how strong you are and how you're able to see the side, both sides of the situations, both sides so clearly, clearer than the most, most individuals. And understand that everything that happens in our lives happens for a reason. So once you get that understanding in January, by the end of January, the bright light starts shining, baby. Because prosperity is on its way, Gemini. But we have to do the work first. We can't manifest the, manifest the uh, abundance and prosperity if we're still in it in 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 the negativity which is a negative it's going to bring negative it's going to attract neck because our mindset is on the downward end instead of the upward upward sloping and that's the best way i could describe this it. way it's coming into me it's 
gonna be all right, Gemini. It's gonna be okay. Get through the rest of 2018. Breathe through it. Go into the first part of January with an open mind that I'm going to release all of this. It does not serve me. So that when it is time for those important messages to come through to you, wait for important information. Wait for important information. Then you're going to enjoy the... And then you're going to enjoy and reap the rewards. That's the way the rewards are going to come, Lady Card. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. And you have prosperity. It's coming. I can't wait to see what February looks like. Good gracious, you're releasing heavy energy, Gemini. Hmm. You're releasing really heavy energy, and that is fabulous. Oh my God, it's so good. I feel so good. So happy for you. Then you can breathe, then you can breathe, then you can breathe, and then you can see, then you can see everything around you. You can see everything around you. Letting go, letting go, you're letting go, you're letting go, letting go, letting go. Letting go. All that does not serve you, Gemini. That's what you're doing. And it's going to lead you to your brighter, brighter January. Brighter, brighter 2019. That's when everything is going to start flowing. Everything is going to start flowing the way it should. And feeling less heavy and feeling the lightness and brightness that it should. I want an angel card. One more card. I need an angel card for you, Gemini. I want an angel card for you. Um, I want an angel card, archangel, angel, angel card. So, it's going to get better. It is, um, and this angel message is going to, I know for sure, round it up. Round it up. Angels, what do you want to let Gemini know? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. January 2019. Prioritize and I got delegate and prosperity again. Yes, Gemini, I told you, I told you, I told you. Okay, prioritize, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Archangel Metatron, which in the goddess cards, we got start delegating. Okay, green Terra, ask others, including me which is the angels, the prophets, ancestors, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself, Gemini. And then, boom, boom, bizzle, because it happens like that. But you, Gemini, once you follow that and know that the angels are there, prosperity, boom, prosperity. You already got the abundance cards. Your angel cards are matching up with the goddess cards. The goddess cards are blending in. <sighs> Prosperity. Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. That was That's going to be with the releasing of all that gook. The stuck kick rocks. All that gook. Once you do that, you're going to be great. Prosperity, abundance, prosperity, abuncha, abundance. I'm probably saying it wrong, abundance. I love it though. Look how, and then both the cards, look. Ooh, look at them buckets coming. That's like Gemini, right? Twins. <laughs> you got some, tw you twinning right now. That's what's happening. You twinning for me right now. Okay, that's what's happening. Got it. Oh, took me a minute. I get it. You twinning right now. Because, yep, you twinning. Excuse me. You are twinning, nurturing, bold. <gasps> you got this, Gemini. You got this. We're releasing. 
releasing all that does not serve us. We're releasing, releasing, and letting go. Okay, Gemini? And that's going to bring all the prosperity you've ever dreamed of. It ain't going to happen overnight. It ain't going to happen right now. But 2019 is going to let you know. Let you know. That path is going to give you those nuggets, Gemini, that it's going to lead you out and you'll be able to breathe and see it and, and feel it. So, I'm happy for you. So, until next time, Gemini. Have a beautiful January. Happy New Year. I'm going to leave you with peace, love, and tranquility. Namaste.